Hello and welcome to another episode of Paddle Face Off. Today we compare the Lone Wolf Audio 8 Bolly Q versus the Lone Wolf Audio Brick. So here we have both pedals and apart from the obvious uh, visual differences we have a whole new row on the brick. Both pedals share low, low mid, high mid, high as well as for each band a center knob which is here. The brick has an additional frequency knob that basically lets you root the center frequency even more so that you can really tweak in the frequency you want to boost with this EQ. So let's find out if everything is at noon, if both pedals are the same. With some volume loss, but that's normal. The brick seems to be operating a bit more higher output, nothing too drastic. So let's start with cranking the high band. It's broader on the brick. And it's lower in frequency. We have here the frequency at 2.1 and here we have it at 1.5 but nothing that we can't change with those knobs so find it one K one point four one point five well one point four Low mid. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Oh well, actually, it's the highest, no specific frequency and low. One hundred seems to be, and here around one fifty one. 30, 140. Okay, so the frequencies themselves are a bit different. It's no problem though. Let's change the center frequencies. See how low we can go. We're at 76 and here we are at 76. So when we have this band also fully counterclockwise we get way more similar territory okay now the low frequency band not this much of a difference here we get actually a volume drop this might however be one of this special features Joe sometimes implements in his pedals So not sure now. Well, we find out another day. Or actually, go watch my brick review. High minutes. goes as low as 700 and here we are at 800 and we can go up to 3.2 and here we are at 5 although it's broader here 
And now the high band. One point one, one point one, exactly the same. And when we go up, we are not as much volume, five or actually six K, and here we're at four K. Okay, so there's definitely more range with a brick. And now let's find out how both pedals compare sound-wise. that was the comparison. What do you prefer? Do you like the 8-ball or do you need an additional row of knobs? Just let me know down in the comment section. And if you want to support this channel, check out the links in the description. Well, and with this said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out my Instagram. May the force be with you and have a nice day.